primarily been focused in East Asia, especially Southeast Asia, thanks to something called a heat dome, or this big blocking ridge of high pressure. It sits there, it spins clockwise, it just pumps heat northwards, and at the same time, it does two things. Number one, it's kind of like a magic force field. It deflects all the inclement weather far to the north and far away, so you get sunshine pouring down. And number two, high pressure means more air in a given area that sinks, it warms up, it dries out. Again, that squashes any cloud cover, and there's really just kind of self-reinforcing sunshine there. Dry air, you heat the ground, you heat the air. an episode like this, we're used to kind of extremes in either direction. That's what makes up the weather. Whether one day might be a little warmer, one day might be a little bit colder, but we're skewing the scales a little bit more towards a hotter side. So an otherwise extreme event to begin with, like this one, will be pushed into record territory thanks to an extra turbocharge of human-induced climate change. Yeah, so when it comes to polluted places, especially major urban centers, it's not necessarily that the heat is being made worse by the aerosols and by whatever's in the atmosphere. It's that the heat is exacerbating chemical reactions that can be dangerous for people. For example, we see much more in the way of ground level ozone, which humans are very sensitive to when air temperatures reach a certain threshold. 